Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. What is up? Ate one satisfying meal, topped it off the one measly dessert. This is Mr. Hata speaking. Previously, there were three PBS Kids rants. Today is going to be another Mountain Dew rant. Yes, there will be more Mountain Dew rants coming this year. And this Mountain Dew rant is going to be on one of the newest Mountain Dew flavors that has not come out yet, but will come out before we know it. And this is on the Mountain Dew Green Label. Crafted with green apple? Kiwi! Mmm. New flavors, eh? That is that that has to be BS. This flavor is BS. Crafted with green apple kiwi. The green apple they are using is Granny Smith. Green Apple. Lame. It's Granny Smith, not Green Apple. The term Green Apple sounds too simplistic. Everybody knows what green is. Granny Smith sounds more scientific than Green Apple. There are not many Green Apples that exist. There is... The Granny Smith... And there's several more apples that are green. Oh, the ginger gold, the mutsu, which is a, which is one Japanese apple, and there are a couple hybrids. Mount Mountain Dew Green Label. It's not going to be gr that green. It's not going to be as green as others expect it, as the majority of the Mountain Dew fans think it is going to be. Remember Mountain Dew Black Label? It wasn't black, it was purple. This is going to be light green. Why not they call this beverage Mountain Dew Light Green or Green, green White or Touch of Green Label? Or light green label. Or barely green label. Calling it green label, it sounds oversimplified. The term green, it isn't green. It's barely green. It's diluted. The color is, is light to the point that's almost white. And they're calling it green label. They're attempting to lie to the fan, to the Mountain Dew fans, that this beverage will be uh, one high-quality beverage. Speaking of quality, there's barely, there's probably going to be little to no kiwi in the Mountain Dew Green Label beverage. Look at the first, look at the two fla fruit flavors that compose that, that this beverage is composed of: green apple and kiwi. Now we look at the cost of these two fruits. Which one's more expensive? Kiwi, because kiwi doesn't grow. There are not as many regions around the world that grow kiwi as they do Granny Smith apples. Kiwi is expensive. It, it, even at Walmart, it's expensive. Kiwis are almost 50 cents a piece nowadays. And they're probably going to put as little kiwi as they need to to make this beverage cheap and they sell for one highly expensive price. There's going to be far more green apple than kiwi. The, these two flavors are supposed to be balanced. If, if a one beverage mentions two flavors, such as mango and lime, we expect to taste the balance of those two fruit flavors put together, not one fruit flavor overpowering the other. There's going to probably be 75% green apple, 25% kiwi, if, we're, if we think worse of it, it might be 90% green apple, 10% kiwi. They're tell, they're, they've created this flavor to grab the attention of the, of the Mountain Dew consumers. They know that if they don't come up with new ideas, new flavors soon enough, 
the Mountain Dew fans are going to stop buying Mountain Dew and lose interest in their products. They've only come up with this flavor because nobody else has. But they're going to, which it's creative to come up with one flavor that is rarely thought of for a, for a one food product, but at least put at least put quality into this product. Don't don't put kiwi for the sake of making this product look rare. Because if it doesn't have much kiwi in it, it's meaningless. If they're gonna put kiwi in it, if they're gonna put one small amount of kiwi, call it green apple with one touch of kiwi, one splash of kiwi, one bit of kiwi, one sprinkle of kiwi, or one drop of kiwi flavoring, or one rush of kiwi, or one little hit of kiwi, or one dash of kiwi flavoring. Don't don't attempt to lie to the audience, to the Mountain Dew groups. They want, they, we want, they want high quality Mountain Dew products, not qual products that are the bare minimum in their flavors. Green Apple is cheap. That is one cheap flavor to produce. Kiwi, not as much. They're going to make this flavor mostly apple and not enough kiwi. We are barely going to, we as the group who might consume this beverage are barely going to taste kiwi and we're going to taste almost all apple. It's not going to be as what we expect it to be. This product is not going to be as rare as we think it is. Apple and kiwi, those two fruits go well together because they're both sweet and tart at the same moment. But the kiwi helps round out the taste of the apple. If there's little kiwi, there's going to be there's not going to be much balance in in a, in, a, in a flavor at all. That's the purpose of the kiwi is to balance out the flavor. If we have one flavor and not enough of one of the other flavor, this is not going to be the best flavor. Now, no, Mountain Dew Green Label has not come out in stores yet, but this is the prediction based off of the of the results of the Black Label Mountain Dew beverage from 2015. This product, Mountain Dew needs to step up its game, and by stepping up its game, that means creating one product that has its two flavors well balanced no matter what they are, strawberry banana dark berries pineapple orange whatever flavor combinations they come up with go with them go with the flow do not screw around and put uneven portions of the flavors in the beverage for the sake of making the beverage it's dishonest disloyal and discreet and impolite to the fan base with that that's all there's to say for this rant see you on the next rant peace out good night